I'm Janet, this is Ashley. We're here on Bravo and I get to interview my favorite producer. This is so fun. Okay, tables are turned today. I get to ask you some questions mm -hmm. and make you talk about stuff. Shoot, let's go. But I'm gonna start with some mild ones. Okay, let's go. All right, why do you think people are gonna watch this show? It's a coming of age story about people who are really like, just starting their whole new paths with their new lives. And I love working on the show too, because I'm starting a new life and you know, starting a family and all that stuff. So it's great. It's a great parallel yeah. um, for everyone who's just like trying to figure it out. What's the number one thing people ask you when they find out you're a reality TV show producer? They always just want to know if things are real. Okay. Like if, if things are scripted or if it's real. You can't script it. And not script anything. <laughs> and I'll just like to tell people like, no, all of it is real. We elevate stories. We learn how to track stories so that you know what's going on. Yeah. That everything has a beginning, a middle, and an end. But as far as things being made up, we couldn't possibly. Yeah, no. <laughs> Which of the couples would you trust to babysit your baby? I don't trust none of y'all to babysit my baby. <laughs> All right, I think, fair. No, you guys, you and Jason did a great job on your trial runs. Yeah. That yeah. I won't give anything away, but you have done great jobs on your trial runs with all the other kids on set. So if you had to do a background check, I think that you guys would be the one <laughs> to pass. I love that. The ones who don't have kids yet. Right. <laughs> What's the best and worst part of the job? Okay, the best part of this job, I believe, is just getting to work with great people. Like, who wants to go to work and not be around great people to work with. Yeah. And then the worst part is just, so our, our job is to help you guys tell your stories. And so when when the time comes where people are like, I don't want to talk about that anymore. I don't, this is over, it's dead. Like stop bringing it up ripping again. Ripping the mics off. <laughs> yeah, the ripping the mics off, like all that. When things get heated and we have to like hold your feet to the fire, mm -hmm. that is always very challenging, but it's also like, it helps us know that like, no, we're doing our job because we are always getting what the audience wants to see. Yeah. You know, and so we're always like rounding it back and, and picking it back up to where we need to be. So I think it, it's kind of like the worst part when you're in it, cause you're just like, oh my God, here we go. But for the most part, it's really, really great when you see that the, the big picture come together and it's like, oh, okay, great. I got them to like. Finish out the scene even though they didn't want to. Exactly. <laughs> Who's most likely to be late from the cast? Jack. <laughs> Whose house is the cleanest? Brittany's. Wow. Whose scenes take the longest? Kristen. Who's your favorite? All of you are my favorite. Yeah, that's you kidding. That's not the right answer. <laughs> <laughs> Who do you think hid the most from producers or tried to hide the most from producers? Kristen and Luke. Who showed the most growth over the season? Janet. Well, physically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for letting me interview you. This is my of favorite course. day of filming yet. Yay! <laughs> Thank you for watching The Valley on Bravo. Woo! Yay! <laughs>